What's up guys, Chris here with Palmer Aquatics. Today we are downstairs in my office doing some fish tank maintenance and I realized my pearl gourami is freaking beautiful and it's like I have to do a video showcasing this fish and I want to change some things in the 75 gallon setup. When I was doing research on pearl gouramis, I was reading that a lot of people didn't have good luck keeping them in community tanks, and people were more or less stressing that you keep them in a single species tank, or else same species but with other gouramis. That made me a little nervous because I was going to just throw it in this community tank and just hope for the best. And to be completely honest, sometimes you read guides online that tell you this and that. But more or less, just experiencing how to take care of the fish sometimes is the best. And what I did was kind of analyze if the fish was stressed out in this 75-gallon community tank. And everything seemed to go quite well. I think a huge variable to think about when talking about fin nipping or chasing and aggression is how heavily decorated is your tank. And this tank does have enough decor or coverage per se because this gourami can obviously just run and hide when it needs to. It has multiple pieces of driftwood and floating plants. This tank is super dirty as you can see. There's tons of mulm and funny enough the water actually tests out completely fine probably due to the planted tanks but it just looks absolutely disgusting. I'm going to do a gravel vac here as you can see and man isn't that fun to watch. You can just see all that mulm and uneaten food, detritus, detritus. Uh, just going up through there and I do have a trance. This isn't a water changer. This is actually a DIY transfer pump on a 50 foot long garden hose. So this is all being pumped outside. Um, I do have videos on that. It works so well. If you're, if you're finding your siphon doesn't have a lot of power and uh, a, a transfer pump can easily save it. They're like 50 bucks on Amazon. I'll throw a link in the description. It's pre pretty crazy to have this much water flow using 50 plus feet of garden hose. This all goes outside. So, um, God, I really like the look of that ruby barb in there with the other tiger barbs. But guys, this pearl gourami, I wish the water didn't look so, like there's so much in the water column right now that it's actually almost kind of wrecking the video. But I'll just keep at it. Uh, this tank has been running for quite some time. I'll be really excited to move this tank out to the shop. I'm really worried upon moving some of these super established tanks. You know, these things have been running for years down in my basement. And it's like, I'm I'm really nervous to move these out to the shop per se. And uh, it's it's kind of a naked feeling when you've had these things running. But I, I need to t I need to be positive because just this, I, I can move this tank and it can be completely fine and just have the same. I might just leave the gravel in there and try to lift these tanks, keeping all the gravel in the tanks to kind of just hold all the bacteria and what have you. But yeah, wrapping this video up, guys, I guess the point of this was to kind of just tell you with pearl gouramis and other fish, even though what you read in these care guides on the internet, it doesn't necessarily mean it's the end all be all. There can be other scenarios and I wish uh, more experienced fish keepers did more care guides because what we need to do is hear their actual experience on keeping these fish through their decades of fish keeping. All right, guys, let me know what you think. Whoop, whoop.